Hey everyone, my name is Nolan and welcome back to another Pixel Gun 3D video and as you guys can see, we are on the Pixel Gun 3D PC edition. And I thought, you know, might as well just start from square one, start from scratch and see what happens. So we gotta move around here and beat this tutorial, which I don't think I've ever actually played the tutorial or this tutorial before. Um, also, I hope that the sound effects are okay. Pixel Gun has notori notoriously loud sound effects. So like I literally have to like turn my headset all the way down, uh, but hopefully I should have this sound balanced okay. Uh, okay, so let's just see how this is gonna play out. So we are not on any emulators. This is the official Steam version of Pixel Gun PC. So this is gonna be kind of interesting to see what we're getting into. Uh, we're gonna have a lot of question questions answered in this video. Uh, so yeah, if you guys want to see uh, the next part of this, make sure to subscribe. So which one should I pick? Should I pick? Uh, oh, I don't know which one I should pick here. Like, where, where's the default dude? Oh, <laughs> I was like, where's the default dude? I think I got to go default. Oh, no, no, no. we got to go Slenderman. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, I accept and continue. So here is the PC version. Um, there's going to be a little bit of different uh, stuff going on in this than what you guys have. So right now we're probably going to play against bots. One thing I've already noticed is the enemies have like a very interesting glow outline it appears the graphics are a little better let's see if there's any different settings we got some uh field of view settings it looks like that's the same as mobile yeah uh we probably don't want the music because we don't want to get copyright claimed however for the beginning of that i will have music uh it looks like yeah this is pretty much all just the same fps uh we can go all the way up to unlimited uh however my monitor's 60 so i'll stay at 60 for now but yeah we can go up to the different FPS settings, which is really dang cool. Uh, we'll stay at 60 for now uh, and just kind of see what happens. Also, one thing I just wanted to go over really quick that I missed in the video is there is a streamer mode, which turns off game chat, turns off display custom cape skins and clan logos, and turns off friend invitation or invitation notifications. So if I go into a game really quick, and it looks like you have to play ranked. Which is kind of interesting. Oh, classic modes. Never mind. Okay, let's go into a classic mode really quick. And I'm playing against bots here anyways. So it looks like everyone here just has kind of like a, uh, a AI or a bot generated name. It'll be kind of hard to showcase this because the lobbies aren't super full uh, at this level anyways. So they all just kind of have bot styles anyway. This looks like it might be a real person. Just the way he's moving. I feel like that's a real person, but I, I have no idea. Also, another important thing to go over is the account transfer. I know this is going to be inserted at the video, uh, like where I'm going over settings and stuff, but <laughs> just bear with me. It's kind of important. You guys are definitely going to want to uh, know about this. So you can tran you can use your Pixel Gun 3D account on different platforms. To do this, you need to link your account to platform accounts on different devices. Only one link per platform. To link your game account to an account, on another platform, you need to generate a temporary code on your account in settings, slash account transfer or deletion, slash account transfer, request code. Enter this in the code entry field on the device where you're linking your account. If your device already has another account tied to your current platform, that account will be permanently lost. You won't be able to link an account to multiple accounts on the same platform. So carefully choose the platform account you're going to link your account to. Right now, progress transfer is only available on Steam. Other types of progress transfer are temporarily unavailable. Let you know when progress transfer to other platforms becomes available. So basically, account transfer is not in the game at the moment, but it might be in the game on release. I guess we'll just kind of have to find out. I, I know that's kind of uh, unfortunate for you guys. Oh, looks like there is motion blur. Loki, this looks like Pixel Gun with RTX. Like the graphics are insane. Like this is, the graphics are actually insane. <laughs> I wonder if there's a way I can turn off motion blur though. Uh, if I go settings, I'm not actually seeing an option for that. So maybe that's something that they'll add. So one thing I just want to clarify before we get too deep into this is right now, uh, I'm playing a beta build. So this is not going to be the final update you guys will be playing. So you guys might have a little bit different stuff than I have right now. Uh, because basically like if you think about it what happens is they make an update they push it out for testing and then they test it So right now they're probably they probably made a ton of different changes uh, in the code uh, So basically I have a earlier version that's been pushed out already uh, So yeah, you guys will have a little bit different fixes and stuff and maybe if I make this video They'll make some last-minute changes based on my suggestions the first of which being Guys should make a change where you can turn off motion blur because I know some people like me don't exactly like the motion blur too much um, So yeah, I just rather not have motion blur, but so far I gotta say this is pretty cool So basically we're just gonna be starting from like level one 
and going up and see seeing what happens. Let's see if we can get to level 65. Uh, completely free to play on PC. There's going to be some different stuff to do on Pixel Gun. There's going to be like different weapons to get. Uh, and then there's also a new tournament mode we're going to have to look at after this match here. Uh, but yeah, I think that these are all bots. And it looks like the bots are actually different on PC than on mobile. Because these bots actually have like skins uh, as opposed to like uh, just like those weird avatars. But th that could just be because this is a tutorial match. I don't actually know. This dude just has a really overpowered melee weapon, too. Like, how's that fair, bro? All right, well, we dropped 24 kills our first game. Not bad. And it looks like we leveled up and can buy some new stuff here. Ooh, we also got some uh, tips here. I, I could get a free weapon? Wait, di did I just... Yeah, I just got a free weapon. Okay. So if I go shop... Oh, yeah, yeah, there it is. Why is it only level one, though? I'm level two, bro. Come on. So I am going to keep playing this a little bit. Uh, because I want to get to 140 XP and the reason why I want to get to 140 XP before I do anything else is so we can check out the new tournament system. I actually have the new tournament system uh, which should be coming out with the PC release April 2nd. Uh, because it's already on PC, I just, I'm too low level to unlock it. I need to have 140 XP and right now I only have 30. So basically, just gotta win some games in first place really quick. Maybe you'll see if I can get an XP booster and we'll get that unlocked and see what the new tournament mode entails because I am very curious to see if it's going to be good or not uh, and we're going to find out in this video. I'm just now realizing there's actually a mummy in this, uh, oh, what, what do you call it? Sarcophagus? Is that what you call it? <laughs> there, there's an actual mummy in there. Is that in the mobile version? I, I don't know. So one thing you may notice right now, no ads. This is because uh, I think Steam has like some different policies when it comes to ads. You're not like allowed to like do ads and stuff. So basically if I'm going to be getting like free currency, it's, it's going to be way harder. You can do daily stuff. So I think basically, uh, usually my strat to people is to play uh, mini games at Battle Royale a lot more because then weapons are significantly more balanced. So I'm kind of wondering, maybe we start doing some mini games and Battle Royale. That way everything is balanced and we don't need to worry about upgrading weapons. There's also only small aisle right now, which is kind of interesting. I can also open it, my first novice chest, or novice, novice? I'm pretty sure it's a novice, I guess. I don't really know. Uh, we got a weapon. Nice, we got a new weapon first try. That's pretty good. Is this weapon that good? Probably not. <laughs> also just got some 10 free gems for completing that, uh, for opening the task hub. Get some keys, which is pretty nice. Uh, and some more gems too, all right. All right, well, let's just complete this task here. We'll play a match of Classic Pool because I still need to get to 140 XP. Ooh, another major flaw, which I know is already gonna get so many uh, bad reviews and backlash. There is no custom keybinds. You can't change these. Maybe you can in the main menu, but for now, I can't change any of the keybinds, which that's crazy. You can scroll through the uh, the weapons instead of like pressing the number keys, but like if I'm gonna three cat, I want those binded to my mouse buttons, which unfortunately doesn't look like you can do that. Maybe that's fixed on release. Remember, that could be fixed on release. Uh, I wonder if the developers, well, the developer is gonna a, a developer is gonna watch this. If you do watch this and maybe you can answer some of these questions, it might be helpful to like leave that down in the comments, you know, so that way people know. Because I don't know either. Um, and it's going to be like hard, kind of hard to like answer the questions if I've already made the video. So, all right, well, we completed that task and got a free primary upgrade, which is pretty cool. I'm already noticing that my weapons are significantly weaker than they were last game. And I've only gone up one level. Like, it takes like over half a clip to kill someone, which is actually insane. W who is shooting me? Is that a real player? I think that's a real player. <laughs> that's crazy. So yeah, uh, I can actually play crossplay right now. Uh, like I am actually able to play with you guys on mobile, which is kind of crazy actually, even though the game isn't technically out yet. Uh, basically, you guys will be able to play with mobile people on PC. However, I think that's a setting you can turn off. I don't know if that's something you can turn off on mobile, um, but there is a way to make it so you don't have to play crossplay if you don't want to. Because some people might find it unplayer to play against uh, PC players on mobile just because of like the different advantages there are. For example, unlimited FPS. But yeah, I'm already noticing I'm significantly weaker, which is just one of the main problems I have is like you constantly have to upgrade weapons in regular games in order to like have any sort of like advantage at all, which is like just not something I want to do. <sighs> so I think after this, we'll probably have to just stick to Battle Royale. All right, guys, I'm also now trying out the Battle Royale. I have no idea if these are going to be real people I'm playing against or if they're going to be bots. I think so far... They kind of seem more like bots than not. 
Uh, however, I am just trying out like some of the new mechanics for Battle Royale, like how do you swap out stuff. Uh, looks like there do kind of seem to be buttons for everything. I, I do think that these are bots because they just kind of come out of nowhere. Like, that, I think that dude just spawned there. So, I don't... Okay, I can pick that up. Okay, I, I was going to say, I think I walked over it and it didn't pick it up. But I guess I was wrong. Um, yeah, there's there's just a lot of really good weapons here, too. <laughs> like, I have a feeling that these are definitely all bots because this is my first Battle Royale game. Oh, yeah, see, this dude just spawned here. Like, this dude, this dude was not here a second ago. The prototype is in here. Oh, interesting. Okay, well, I'll definitely use that. Oh, gosh. Oh, where did you come from? I have two people on me now. <laughs> not good, not good. I think these are definitely bots. They, they just kind of spawn out of nowhere. Like, what? <laughs> what the heck? Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, how do I get out? How do I get out? I can't get out. What did I do? Get out. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> what the heck? Oh my gosh, that dude literally spawned in. He literally spawned in out of nowhere, bro. Oh my gosh. Also, now my uh, my uh, inventory thing is gone. Like, oh, it's back. What what the heck happened? What what actually just happened there? Holy cow. I also like don't know how these weapons work in Battle Royale. If you guys want to let me know. I know like Secret Forces Rifle, rifle. wow, I'm pretty sure it's better than Nuclear Rifle uh, in the actual game. But is that the case in Battle Royale? Uh, like, is, is that true? Are the weapons damages the same? Yeah, dude, what? This dude literally came out of nowhere. Die. Let's go. 37, 37 enemies is oddly specific. Oh, gosh. Boom. I missed. Oh, he's tweaking. Oh, he's actually tweaking. <laughs> oh, I thought you got more XP for doing Battle Royale. Did they change that, dude? That's actually annoying, bro. All right, guys, we now unlock the new tournament system, the new ranked mode. So we have a 22-day season right now, which is pretty cool. Uh, yeah, there's the different uh, ranked badges. I have no idea what this is going to be, by the way. Uh, introducing the new ranked match system. Play matches, get trophies, complete with, compete with other play players, and become the best of the season. With ranked mat win ranked matches and get trophies, the higher you rank, the more trophies you lose in case of defeat. Uh, so this is basically how it used to be. Fill the progress path with trophies to earn rewards. You'll get more trophies for winning in the random mode. All right. Climb the leaderboard to pick up rewards and make it to the top 100 players of the season. When the season changes, you'll be placed in a new leaderboard. If your rank is 4 or lower, it will remain unchanged. Only 30% of progress above rank 4 will be retained on the new victories. Okay, well, I haven't played a match yet, so I guess you could select a mode. Random mode, teamfight, deathmatch. So that's apparently all it is. So if you play random, you actually get a higher reward. So what's the reward for this? 25 for first place. Oh, first through third is 25. That's actually interesting. Uh, and that's the same there. Uh, if I go here, it's 30. Okay, all right. Well, I think we might have to play random mode. And if I go to battle, then we're in silent school. Okay, let's see if we can get third place. Oh, we're going to be against bots too. This is going to be cake. Oh, okay. All right, yeah. Cut that out, cut that out. All right, so we got 30 trophies for winning that. And that, <clears throat> that was just bots. Um, so let's kind of see what that means now. Oh, oh, we got a trophy road. Okay, interesting. Can I see what some of these rewards are? Green ranked chest. Uh, okay, so that's just cosmetics. Any weapons in there? Oh, you can get coins. Uh, that's kind of interesting. Not a shovel. Uh, do they get better? Okay, so that's just a green ranked chest. Okay, and then you can also see the different ranks here. So that's ranked three. Ranked four is there at 2,000. Uh, you can get a starfall shovel. Interesting. Okay, purple ranked chest. Here's an upgraded one. Looks like still just cosmetics. Looks like you can also get coins and then some avatars, which we kind of just talked about. Uh, rank six. It's like emerald themed. Still purple rank. Uh, you can get some cosmetics. Rank 7, still purple. Rank 8 is also still purple. Does it ever change? Rank 9 is still purple. And rank 10 is an exclusive poisonous piercer skin, which I believe 10 is the highest rank you can achieve. Um, and then you can also start to get some new rewards, uh, which is like basically just the golden skin. So basically what I got to say is those are rare, those are rewards aren't that great. When I initially made my video, I was like, we should have unique rewards, but it looks like you can just win stuff that already exists, except for that tournament skin. That tournament skin is the only exception. However, as far as leaderboard goes, oh, it's just, it's just, uh, gems. Oh, top 100? Ooh! Okay, so there's an exclusive skin. That's new. Uh, and that actually looks really cool, and that's for the Ultra Beam. Uh, it looks like we already have some PC players. Is, is that what I'm understanding here? 
Uh, <laughs> what's going on here? You can also get a, a new skin. Uh, I believe these skins already exist. Or maybe not, maybe not. So those are uh, exclusive skins. And there's also there's a bronze skin, a silver skin, and then a golden skin, which is pretty cool. Uh, oh, wait, wait. No, no, this is a different weapon. This isn't even the same weapon. Interesting. Okay. And that's only for the top three people. Top three people in the world? Oh, that weapon's gonna be hard to get. <laughs> That's crazy developers if you're watching this maybe make this for 100 people because like three people that's insane <laughs> All right guys. Well for now that's gonna wrap up the video first video there uh, I do plan to like make this a series of like maybe get into level 65 or something So if you guys enjoyed make sure to subscribe for the next part uh, Thank you guys all for watching and I hope to see you guys all in the next video. Peace